Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Lucas Dentis here bringing another video about Go High Level. And today I'm going to show you one of the ways that you can extract the most out of Go High Level. I tell everyone they should be funneling every single contact into the platform because first they benefit from having everything centralized, but also they can run automations on every single contact. So you might have seen this before. You're running a campaign on Facebook. You have a specific offer, maybe a discount on a specific service. But while you are generating leads on Facebook, you forgot your website you didn't update you don't have the same offer there and people are finding your website through google they're filling out the form but you have a disconnect in your message but not anymore because i'm going to show you how you can integrate your elementor form with Google high level so then when you have new leads coming from your website you can share with them an offer using an email using an sms message and you can add them to automations as well and with no further ado let's start this video so let's go So here we are, I have Make Open right in front of you. This is the tool that we're going to use to integrate Elementor Forms with Go High Level. And I already have one that's ready. I'm going to open up for you so, so you guys can see. But we're also going to create one from scratch here so you can see the step by step. So here I have it open and you see it's a very basic flow. All we need is two step. One to, to be triggered when there's a submission on an Elementor Form and then another one to create the contact after the form submission. So I'm going to go to WordPress right now because all I'm going to do is to duplicate a page. We have a contact us page. I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to do contact us demo. Just changing here the slug so this page is not accessible. In here, I'm just going to make a few updates here so I don't send emails to people that shouldn't be receiving them. So I'm going to go to actions here. I'm going to remove collect submissions. I'm going to remove email, redirect. You just leave webhook here. So now I'm going to go back to make. Let's create the scenario. Let's go back here. Scenarios. Create new scenario. And the first thing we're going to do here is to click a new module. I'm going to add Elementor. And here I'm going to create a new form. Vectors test. I'm going to save. And I'm going to copy this webhook. I'm going to come here on this page that I have duplicated. I'm going to go to the webhook step and I'm going to paste this URL right here. If you don't see webhook here, it's because you haven't added on the actions after submit. So make sure that you add webhook here. You see webhook and then you paste the URL there. After you do that, you're going to publish. Yeah, saved. On make, don't forget to click OK here. And let's click on run ons you need to water the pipes on make that's how it works you need to water the pipes you need to run the the flow first in order to get all the information in and then you can map so now we're going to preview changes i'm going to add some information here i don't need to put anything real here nobody's being notified anyway okay form sent successfully and if i come here i can see that it worked and if i go to raw payload i can see all the fields i have added you see i see the message the subject the address the mobile phone email name everything here and now i can add another module i can come here to the lead connector also known as high level and i can now create a contact in here you're going to either map your location you can click add and then you can do um, well i don't know if it's worth Working for you some people are having problems with 2.0 you can still use the deprecated version but this might stop working at any time but i would advise you if it's working i would advise you to go with a 2.0 and when you do it you're going to see a new connection just like the ones i you see here that i have created for me so after you map those you can then map the fields accordingly so i go to name and i paste it here i go to email right here phone number i can put it right here and then the address i can put it also here and on this one we even have a field message and there's one message here as well we don't have subject but you could create this custom field as well and map it here as you need as necessary for you so then after that well the other thing that you could also do here so if you want to differentiate people that comes from your wordpress website to other people on your funnel you might want to add a tag you can add a tag called wordpress here and then click ok so when the contact is created they come with a tag wordpress and then based on the tag you can add automations you can maybe share an email an sms a review request whatever it's it's included on your process so after you have done this all you have to do is to save and then you can enable the workflow and 
and that's it. Next time someone feels out of form, the contact will fall immediately into go high level. Guys, that's pretty much it. I'm going to show you how you can create an automation based on that as well. So I have it here open on my screen. Don't close this video yet. And I have this example open in front of you. So you can see how you can do things like that. So one of the things that you could do is you could add an automation when that's triggered when a contact is created with a certain tag. In that case, it would be WordPress here. But you could also just do a contact created. You can update the field source with WordPress, for example. And then you can branch out this automation based on the source. So if people have come from Facebook leads, leads ads, you can send a different information. If people came from WordPress, you send something else. The goal here of, since I was talking at the beginning of this video, is to get everyone for the same offer, for the same discount that you have. But you can also specify different paths for different types of contacts, like we're showing here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Check if you're not a subscriber yet. And if you're not, please subscribe to this channel. Leave a like that we really helps me and I'll be leaving here on the description of this video a link so you can sign up with me and see you on the next one.